Hello and welcome back to Don't Starve with me, Banzar from Banzar Gaming, with Abigail and Chester, our lovely pet. Hello Chester, how are you doing? You've got a load of carrots in you. Awesome. I'm actually beginning to doubt the uh, the health and safety of keeping all your food inside a chest that seems to have a tongue coming out of its mouth, but you know, never mind. Anyway, we're going to carry on exploring, we want to find somewhere to live. I don't think we found any beefalo, did we? No. We found loads of planes, but they didn't have beefalo in. But here's more planes. Which might have beefalo in. You never know. We haven't... Oh, have we? I think we might have already explored this place. Yeah, we have. Brilliant. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay, seeds. Seeds are always good. Ashes? What happened here? Did something burn? Did I burn something? I probably burnt something. I can't remember the last episode. Don't blame me. Uh, where are we going? Are we going to go up or right? Well, let's pick the berries. And then let's go up to the left because it looks like there's some savannah type stuff going on there. And I really want some beefalo. Oh, hang on. Wormhole. Let's see what's in the wormhole. But then we'll come back because we want to check out that savannery bit. But we may as well see if this takes us anywhere interesting. Ooh, pigs! <gasps> it's taking us to a pig land. Hello, pigs. Oh, no, spiders. I don't like this pig land. But this is useful if we set up our home somewhere near. If there are beefalo there, and then we set up our home near the wormhole, we can jump through and talk to the pigs when we want. Which is pretty awesome. Yes! <gasps> One beefalo! <laughs> this is our pet beefalo, and he will poop everywhere. Another wormhole, because why not? I think these actually decrease your sanity, so it's probably not a good idea, really. But well, it's okay, we can walk back, we don't need to go back through. <gasps> Another beefalo! Hang on, are there more beefalo? I need to explore. Oh my goodness. What is... Where does this one go? I'm going to be mental by the end of this episode. The sanity deteriorating. Ooh, hang on. <gasps> hang on, this place is good because I don't have any stone. And I want to get some gold and stuff. So let's stay here for a bit. And break things. This map is actually pretty awesome so far because we've found a nice... And because of all these wormholes, we have like a network. If we can remember where every single one goes, then... We have somewhere we can come for rocks. We have somewhere we can go for pigs. We'll be near beefalo. It seems like a good place to set up our home. Now we just need to find a load of gold so that we can go back there and make an alchemy engine. And then we can have farms. I'm just going to uh, pause it for a second and see if I can sort out the lag, because it is being a bit dodgy, so I'll be back in a second. Can't see any reason it's being laggy, but we're just going to have to uh, continue, I suppose. Okay, sort out the rocks, gold nuggets, gold nuggets are where we want, we have two now. How much does an alchemy machine take? Because we want to make a science machine and then an alchemy machine. So we need seven in total. Okay. Make, make another pick. Keep mining, girl. She's good at mining. Everyone in this game's great at mining. They're all really strong. I don't think I'd be very good at surviving if I woke up in Don't Starve because number one, I'm not sure I could break down a rock that fast. And I don't think I can make any of these things, really, with only these materials. Like the science machine, I'd have no idea what I was doing. I'd be like, there, science! How do I machine? And I'd just die very quickly. I want gold. I don't want all these rocks and bits of flint. I'm taking them anyway, but I don't want them. Nope. Just stupid nighter. No one even knows what nighter does. 
I've not seen anything in this game that uses it yet. I mean, I've not been very far in this game, but... Oh. No, it's not permanent. We're going to destroy it. Awesome. Hello, Chester. Move aside. I've actually got some food to go in you, Chester. There you go. Okay. Yes, gold. I think you're more, li more likely to get gold in these ones that look like they've got gold in. But I don't know whether that's just looks. Don't judge a rock by its cover. Rocks have covers now. Okay. Is this the last one in this place? I hope not, because I've only got five gold, not seven. Hello. More rocks, please. Hello, rock. I want two gold. Can you give me one of them? Yes, you can. Awesome. And now we need one more. Come on, one more. And then we need to make a fire quite soon. So quick, make the pickaxe. Yes! There it is. Uh, rocks, 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 rocks. Let's make a lovely fire around here. And then what we're going to do in the night is make a torch. Equip the torch, put that, put that down there. And we're just going to light this forest on fire, I think. Because we want some charcoal. Because then we can make a crock pot later. When we have our camp, we can make a crock pot, which will be awesome. Um, Chester, have some rocks. In fact, he should have the seeds, really, because they could be considered food. We'll take the rocks back. Uh oh. Make it brighter. I want to chop down these dead things. Axe. Charcoal. I think you only need two for a crock pot, so we should be fine. Hello. Can't find any more trees. There it is. Hello, evil thing over there. Okay, awesome. Pick up the pickaxe again. So, tomorrow we go back to. We go back, we find that beefalo, and we set up a home somewhere. We can make a crock pot, we can make an alchemy engine already, then we can start making farms if we can get some manure. It's going to go well. It's day. It's going to be day three and we're already going to have an alchemy engine and a crock pot and it's going to be brilliant. So, this has been day two of Don't Starve. Subscribe if you want to see day three and not miss it. Um, <laughs> I've been Banzar from Banzar Gaming. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you uh, on day three, I suppose, which will be in a few days' time, probably. Whenever it's uploaded, I don't know. Anyway, day three is now beginning, so I will pause it here and say goodbye. Thanks for watching.